landfills produce methane naturally, and methane is a greenhouse gas, so they can't just let it go into the atmosphere, so what they were doing in the past is just burning it in a flare to destroy it. But we take that and we burn it in engines and create electricity, so it's just not wasted energy. So what we do is we just sell them a product, nothing up front except for the commitment to buy our electricity. Amoresco arranged financing to build the projects. We didn't have to use our financing to do so. And we were able to work out a reasonable power purchase agreements with them and landfill gas projects. It's been the best priced resources we've been able to get. It's a very low risk arrangement. We just pay for the power that does arrive at the agreed upon contract price. And from an electrical standpoint, landfill gas generates a nice steady round the clock output profile and it's steady across the year. There's six engines, Yenbacher General Electric 616s. They're connected to generators, and they put out a constant electricity 24-7, 365 days a year. And after the landfill ceases to operate, the plant will still be viable for 25 years at full production, and about another 25 years after that at partial production. It's about 12 megawatts total, and we and another city of Alameda are equal offtake partners, so Palo Alto is getting about 6 megawatts, 5% of the power we need. It is the most up-to-date, greenhouse gas efficient plant that we own. There's a gas collection system down in the landfill. From there, we run it through basic filter, and then through a dehydration system, through a carbon filter to remove siloxanes and, and VOCs and then into the engines. And it's the only plant in the nation that has catalytic converters on it like your car has. There's probably not a car out there on the road that has a more modern emission system than this plant has. One of the big pluses for the landfill gas projects is they are built with relatively small footprints on a brown site already. You can't see it from any highway, any roadway, and we've got double muffler systems to make sure we stay quiet. The city of Palo Alto set some aggressive renewable goals to get to 33% renewable power by the year 2015. And now we're up to 19%, counting the 6% coming out of Ox Mountain. We all produce garbage, and now at least we're doing something with it. It provides income for the landfill that they'd normally be spending on maintaining the flare. Palo Alto gets their clean energy. We produce electricity and provide jobs for people in the area. It's an absolute win situation from beginning to end.